Welcome again to the newsroom. These are the latest updates at this time. The presidential election petition court has dismissed the application by the Labour Party and its presidential candidate, Peter Obi, to allow for a live telecast of the court proceedings. Making references to other countries, Justice Samani said live streaming has to be planned and budgeted for, adding that sort of application is never allowed without rules enabling it to come into effect in a sort he did his server court cannot allow it without the necessary framework or policies. In a unanimous decision of the five-man panel, the courts dismissed the application. The president of the Dangote Group, Aliko Tangote, says his refinery will generate massive job opportunities for the team in Nigerian youths. Dangote said this in Lagos during the commissioning of the 650,000 barrels per day Dangote Petroleum Refinery and Petrochemicals by President Muhammad Buhari. According to him, the refinery operation will generate massive job opportunities in their hundreds of thousands, adding that the refinery will make available to the country's industries vital raw materials to a large range of manufacturers in the pharmaceuticals, construction and many other industries. The Minister of Interior, Raul Farag Bashala, says the federal government will soon commence home delivery of passports to those who opt for the service. The minister who made a disclosure at the opening of the Nigerian Immigration Service Passport Front Desk Office in Aochi Edo State said it is the intention of the federal government to provide the passport for anyone desirous of it within a reasonable time at an affordable price and without any stress. He also promised to conclude negotiations with the Nigerian Postal Service, NIPOST, to engage its speed mill service to deliver passports to Nigerians wherever they are in the world after production. And Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong has tested positive for COVID-19 for the first time after returning home from work trips in Africa and Asia. Due to his age, the 71-year-old said he was prescribed the Paxlovid antiviral medication. Lee said his last COVID-19 vaccine booster was in November and urged Singaporeans to keep their vaccinations up to date to reduce the risk of severe illness. In business, President Muhammad Buhari has inaugurated the Dangote Petroleum Refinery, an illustrious project expected to catalyze the transformation of Nigeria's energy sector. The landmark inauguration comes a decade after Aliko Dangote, Africa's richest businessman, announced plans for the refinery in September 2013 when he secured about $3.3 billion in financing for the project. And a report by the United Nations reveals that extreme weather conditions have caused the deaths of 2 million people and $4.3 trillion in economic damage over the past half a century. According to the new figures published on Monday from the United Nations World Meteorological Organization, 11,778 weather-related disasters have occurred from 1970 to 2021 and they have surged over that period. And in sports, Manchester City celebrated their third consecutive Premier League title on Sunday as a much changed side was still good enough to beat Chelsea Wall Neal at the Etihad. Pep Guardiola's men clinched a fifth title in six seasons on Saturday when second place Arsenal were beating Wall Neal at Nottingham Forest. Defeat confirmed that Chelsea will end a miserable campaign in the bottom half as the Blues have struggled under three different managers this season. That's all on the newsroom. Thank you for watching. I am Mary Cannon.